Hello guys welcome back to our anime shorts. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Martial Master based on novel. So let's start. Do you dare to kill me from the Darjean dynasty? Inspired by his coat and robe, the man's body burst out with an unprecedented terror. His cold killing intention was like a mountain, and sheen dust was enveloped in it. Are you the next player of the Qing dynasty? Yes. I am the one who killed me in Darjean Dynasty. You can't walk down from the challenge arena alive. The man had two golden claws in his hand. He looked at Qin Chen coldly, and his whole body seemed to have condensed into essence. Anyone can see that the Darjean Dynasty and Douwei Dynasty have reached the point of immortality. Now that the next player is on stage, can we announce the start of the competition? Qin Chen turns to look at the deacon of Tianji Pavilion. At this time, some people of the Dajin dynasty carried Kui Jing, a scholar in Qingyi, down. On that day, the deacon of Ji suddenly said in a cold voice, the competition begins. Kill. At the moment, when the deacon of Tianji Pavilion announced the beginning of the war, the warrior of Dajin dynasty had already moved. He had short brown hair, a scar on his face, and golden claws in his hand which instantly turned into two golden rainbow lights and swept towards Qin dust. With an amazing breath, the golden rainbow turned into a claw shadow all over the sky, wrapping Qin dust tightly, and there was no space to avoid at all. Moreover, on top of that claw shadow, there is a terrible killing intention. Every claw seems to be able to grasp and explode the void. When some ordinary sixth-level martial masters see this dense claw shadow, they are inexplicably clenched in their hearts. Just under the shock of the claw shadow momentum, their hearts are about to stop beating. What a powerful power, people's faces changed greatly. Under the attack of such a claw shadow, let alone a young man, even if it is an old-fashioned sixth-level later Wuzuan, I'm afraid it can't resist and will be blasted by one claw. The people of the Darjean dynasty were obviously angry and would not give up if they did not kill the young man. Seeing that the golden claw shadow was about to fall, Qin Chen, covered by the claw shadow, outlined a sneer at the corner of his mouth, and disappeared in the same place instantly. The next moment, he had already appeared outside the claw shadow, with a roar, the shadows of claws pour out all over the sky. On the challenge arena made of dark iron stone, there are sparks everywhere, and the stones fly in disorder, but all of them fall into the air. What? How did this sun avoid the attack of the claw shadow? I can't see it clearly. It's too fast. The crowd was horrified, and their eyes were shocked, because they could not see Qin Chen's body clearly, and even some old-fashioned Wuzuan in the late sixth stage could not see clearly, impossible. The warrior of Darjean dynasty also exclaimed, then his eyes were cold and crazy, and the golden claws in his hands swept back again, boom boom boom. The pair of golden claws, this time, seemed to turn into two galloping golden dragons, which broke out into a terrifying roar. Many Wuzuns around the arena were upset and wanted to retreat. With a sneer in his mouth, Qin Chen's mysterious rusty sword came out of its sheath, and the black sword light surged into a dark shadow. The golden dragon, which was transformed by the golden claw, screamed and broke into pieces. The sword Qi poured out from it, and both of them disappeared into nothingness in the void point one move cuts the golden claw shadow. Qin Chen's body is like electricity, and shoots at each other. Not good. The man's face changed greatly, and there was already a trace of fear in his heart. Qin Chen's light attack made him feel scared from the bottom of his heart. The golden claw in his hand formed a golden ball and wrapped himself in it. Can you stop it? Broken holding the mysterious rusty sword in one hand, Qin Chen splits it carelessly. On the black body of the sword, a sword spirit suddenly sweeps out and pours into the gold protection in front of the opponent's body. Boom 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 boom. The golden ball, like a fragile soap bubble, burst into pieces in an instant. The warrior of the king of gold snorted, his mouth overflowed with blood, and his eyes were filled with terror. Strong, too strong. His strongest defense skills are too fragile under Qin Chen's attack. They are simply vulnerable to a single attack. How could there be such a terrible teenager in this world? In his heart, he no longer has the courage to continue to fight with Qin Chen. He retreats crazily and wants to get out of the stage. Did you go? 
Qin Chen sneered. Since the other party came up, how could he still let him go? The mysterious rusty sword in his hand turned into an invisible sword light and suddenly cut out. Be careful. Qin Chen's attitude completely angered him. One of the remaining two warriors of King Dajin immediately roared and rushed to the arena, but was stopped by a hand. It was the masked man. You're no match for him. Let me do it. His eyes are cold, and the masked man's body sends out the chill of freezing everything. He slowly walks towards the challenge arena. At the moment, although the mask of this man can feel the chill of his mask. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.